Think about it this way. Audi S3 comes with bigger injectors and they have the same engine as an A3, A5, A4. If you wanna know if adding S3 injectors to your base model Audi gives you more power, stay tuned, watch the video to the end and you'll be happy you did. going on my youtube family it's your boy bruce with bruce custom motors welcome to another video so this video as you can see in the topic is going to be about audi s3 injectors as you can see i have an extra set here as a backup generally when i buy um, a part i buy extra part just in case it goes bad just so i won't have to deal with reordering it so the biggest thing that a lot of people want to know would like to know or should know about Audi S3 injectors are, does it help my vehicle? Does it give me more power to my vehicle? When should I get it? Why should I get it? So I'm gonna try to just sum it up in this video. So just to let you know, if you're really big into tuning and performance in your vehicle, Audi S3 injectors are one of those things that can give you that extra power that you need. So I'm gonna first start off by saying this. The Audi S3 injectors did give me more horsepower. So before everyone goes crazy in the comments, I'm gonna to explain to you how it gives you more horsepower. I know this is basic definition, but there's some people who are new to this who I'm just informing about it. So you have your air intake. So your air goes in into your engine. It goes into the combustion chamber. Your combustion chamber is, is underneath all this stuff. It's just like a chamber that holds the air and it holds the gas. So what happens is these fuel injectors right here, let me just go ahead and let you see. Let you see. So what happens is these fuel injectors right here shoots gas into the chamber and the air intake shoots air into the chamber. And this coil pack, which is on top of the spark plugs, ignites both of those. And you have that combustion from your engine and that combustion is what goes out of your exhaust. So that's pretty much the engine mechanism. The engine is a big vacuum that sucks in air and that air needs to be accompanied by um, gas. And when you have the air and fuel ratio, then you have the spark that ignites it and you got a big explosion. And that's why when someone's speeding down the highway, you can smell that smoke because there's a million explosions going on. So just to let you guys understand that, so with my vehicle, when I went stage one tune, it was fun. I loved it. And I immediately went to stage two and I'm going to do another video on stage one and stage two tunes. You know, which one is the best for you? Just FYI. So I went to stage two. I loved it. The minute that I went to stage two and I went with Rebo and I started up my boost and my timing by myself, I started noticing on high end from time to time I would get, you know, a few flutters here and there, and then I would get some lean codes. Now, the lean codes that I was getting was not a visible check engine light, but I normally run scans on my car all the time. So you have what you call a sub check engine light and you have a surface check engine light. A sub check engine light is a check engine light that's in the system that hasn't surfaced to the top. So you could be running a misfire or you could be having an issue with your vehicle and it's just inside your it's just in the computer but it's not important enough to put on the surface so that's what i'm just kind of saying so what a lean code means when you're running lean is that you have too much air coming into your engine first so first what causes lean codes from a performance perspective that's if you have a really super big turbo or you have a lot of air being sucked into your engine and the math is telling your engine, I got all this air coming into the engine, you need to match it with fuel, but guess what? You upgraded your air intake, you upgraded your turbo, but you didn't upgrade your fuel injector. So these fuel injectors only can put out so much pressure of fuel and so much fuel at any given time. So at that point, it cannot match the air that's coming into the engine. So you're not gonna be able to optimize all that extra added air and power. So you could run lean or you won't benefit from a bigger turbo. So that's why you can't go big, big turbo 
or slap a big turbo on your car for any car without having a good fuel system or something that can match that. Of course, if you go anything bigger than the KO4, you wanna make sure internally that you're able to have stronger internals that can handle the air and the friction. Now, from a maintenance perspective and non-tuning, what can cause lean codes is dirty fuel injector is clogged up. The second thing is that you could have some bad gas that has your filters clogged up. And the third thing is your, your fuel pump could be not spraying enough gas to the fuel injector through the fuel rail. And in that case, you're gonna run lean codes because there's too much air and not enough gas. So and just to let you guys know, this right here is called the MAF sensor. This is a mass airflow sensor right there, okay? And with this MAF sensor, it tells the computer how much air you're getting. And then the computer will tell your car to match how much fuel you need. So I did a video on keeping that clean because if that's dirty, the computer can be confused and not send the proper amount of fuel to match the air. And you can have some issues with idling or misfires or rough start. So just keep that in mind. You always want to try to maintenance this quarterly, maybe every three months. Just give it a good clean with some mass airflow cleaner. This just cleans the mass airflow um, sensor and they sell it. So if they sell it, it's important. So especially if you're running an aftermarket intake, um, what happens is this MAF sensor will get dirty from just debris and even a factory one, it can get dirty. So it's always good to just kind of clean that because that can really help your car run. I did a video on that. So going back to that's how you run lean. Now on the flip side, if you're running rich, that means you have too much fuel and you don't have enough air in your car. And I know that I'm explaining this in detail, but the reason I have to explain this is so you guys can know how I get the power, because there's a lot of people that are not educated and they don't understand how you get the power. They're quick to deny something, but they don't understand the science behind it. And I'm proving with the extra parts and what I do to my vehicle, what can be done and how it happens. Um, as you can see, I've invested a lot into my engine, into my car. So I don't think that I would hold off on, I don't think I would hold off on doing what I can to improve or enhance the performance of my vehicle to the maximum capability that I possibly can. Going back to what I was saying, if you have that dirty air filter, it can cause you to run rich. If you have a dirty math, it can cause you to run rich. So what caused my lean codes is the L4 turbo was pulling so much air into my engine that the factory fuel injectors could not match it. Next out. Now, there's a couple of people who may have KO4s who may get lucky or may get less of a lean code, but I've, I've done every mod modification to my engine to get as much air as I can in. Like my intake, for example, sucks in more air then my um, K&N, um, uh, my k and and my, um, my CTS, like in my previous video. At that point, my factory injectors just could not match the airflow. So I was running lean. So I, so I don't know if you guys know it, but APR, Euro tuning, a lot of the heavy modification companies recommend to upgrade to S3 injectors. If you go to Euro Tuning right now, or some of the big companies out there, APR, they're gonna say they recommend going to S3 injectors because it gives you more fuel, a better spray pattern, and it and it um and it ultimately has more fuel volume that's going into your car. So basically, once I put these S3 injectors in my car, my lean codes went away um, just from adding S3 injectors. And just to let you know. All of these companies give their numbers without S3 injectors. So this is added horsepower. It, when you go for a stage three tune, it's more of a luxury per se. So it did give me the extra horsepower. It gave me extra dyno horsepower. It gave me statistical horsepower through every system that I, um, that I have. So it was a good buy. So yes, guys, S3 injectors give you more horsepower. Also make sure that when you're ordering some, if you order some, that you order them um, for the right year and make. For example, for my V8 and I believe V8.5, they use the Audi S3 injectors that are 215 and above. 
Um, some V7s um, may use the ones that are um, 2015 and below. And you're gonna know it's the same injector, only the plugs are gonna be different. So if you ever thought about getting some, just look at the plugs of yours or look up your make and model and make sure the plugs match. The overall injector is gonna be the same capacity, but the plug will be different. And that's how you will know. So, you know, like I said, if you go to the dealer and you ask for extra injectors, they're not gonna give it to you unless you give them a VIN. And, you know, um, a lot of tuning companies sell you know, upgraded injectors. I feel that S3 Bosch injectors are the way to go because ultimately you're just turning your A5 into an S3 because think about the S3 has the same engine made for more power. It's tuned by the dealer to push up more power and they needed the car to be able to accommodate that. So yeah, thank you guys so much. You guys have a blessed day. Thanks for watching the video.